The Civil Aviation Branch of the Department of Defence was created back in 1921 and were passionately enthusiastic about aviation and really believed it could be the thing that Australia needed to open the country up. But then they knew that at the time there was an inherent concern over the, the safety of flying. So they knew that aviation wouldn't be accepted by the public unless they knew it was a safe means of travel. Move up then from the land and put the roadways in the sky. I can recall from day one when I joined the department all those years ago, it was instilled into us that whatever we did in the organisation, whether it was some shuffling papers up to the highest echelon, you were directly part of that link of aviation safety. Safety was sort of the watchword. <laughs> we considered we were practitioners of air safety. I can't remember walking away from a job or flying away from a job with the people I worked with knowing that we hadn't done it properly. You always persisted until you did the job right. It wasn't just another job, it was something to be very proud of. You were personally part of this aviation safety chain and it really tempered whatever you did. Today, Air Service's mission remains the same. The organisation itself has sort of changed in many ways, but the, the, the core of the staff and the belief of the staff is still that safety is the number one priority. You can see from the staff surveys that the staff at the coalface quite clearly put safety as a priority and they see themselves as being concerned more with safety than anything else. As an air traffic controller, your whole job is focused on safety. That is why we are there. If I'm safe, I'm looking after the people around me, then that looks after the safety of the job, the equipment, that then leads on to aircraft and people that sit in planes. 